Welcome everyone. Welcome to Let's Play Frontier Pilot Simulator. It's the big day. We're buying a new ship. If we can afford it. I think we can afford it just. <laughs> we can buy the ox. So we'll we'll say goodbye to the scarab for now. It's a very nice little ship. But we need something bigger so we can start making more money. There it is. Oh wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I could exchange it for 19,000. Uh, Alright, let's exchange for 19,000. There we go. Excellent purchase. Now you can get to Ragler. Extraction of minerals there is big business. Now you can make some real money. Look at that ship. That is a lot bigger than what we're used to. A lot bigger. And uh, it's also going to be less maneuverable, of course. And uh, a little more lumbering, so we have to be careful about that. But it's going to be pretty interesting. Alright, so. A survey inspector has arrived from the Metropolis. He needs to be transported to the mainland. Okay. I guess we're going there already. I could buy that water. I d I'm not sure we can actually take it there. Where was it? There's the water. It's 1,000 credits. That's insane. It is six tons, though. Good afternoon. I am interested in getting a taxi ride to Nile Star Research. Are you available? Yes. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Okay. So, I'm going to be stupid and greedy. And I'm going to go try to take this water. And we'll see what happens. Wait, what? No, they need water over there. No, 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 no. I don't want transit. I want to go to Port Estel. There. Oh, yeah, because I clicked on the water. All right. So, let's get this guy here. We've got 5,000 battery. Yeah, I think the water, unfortunately, is going to be too heavy for us. To bring all the way over there. But we'll see. It's only 1,000 credits. That's such an insane... Uh, profit you can make on that. If you fly all the way around to the other side of that big island. I mean, of course, we'll have to... <laughs> he's getting out of the way, so he's not... Squashed. Look at that ship. That's giant. All right. Six minutes. Great. I'm inside. Let's go to Nile Research. Oh, <laughs> you can see this is a lot slower in a way, and more lumbering. Oh, I wonder if we could. Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't see anything. Where's my radar? See, I, you have to go to radar and then this. There we go. This helps a lot. Oh look, there's the little guy inside. The passenger, you can see him. There's a sample there. I'm not gonna be picking that up. I wanna go to Port Estel. I have to go over this mountain. Flight conditions have improved. The tailwind in the upper layers will help you to reach Ragnar. Yeah, that's scripted. Uh, but otherwise, it, it is random, the weather. I, I do wish... Ooh, I need more altitude. I do wish it would uh, change a bit more slowly, though, the weather. Now, we will go over the six minutes for this uh, inspector guy, but eh. If we can take this water from Port Estel to the destination, we're going to be set. Have you heard about that new pilot that arrived this morning? Well, I just saw how his ship vanished in a volcano eruption. Are you sure? Yeah, thanks Kyle, I sent him capsules on now. Yeah, those uh, escape capsules apparently are indestructible. I don't know why they don't make the ships from that indestructible material, but there you go. Oh, man. This thing is a little bigger and heavier. But still, yeah, it still handles quite nicely, actually. Alright. Now give me that water. 
It'll probably say it's too heavy or whatever. Get that. Cargo too heavy for takeoff. Okay, let, let's see. Let's see. Let's put it in there. And if it's too heavy for takeoff, yeah, it'll be problematic. We would need better engines. But let's see. And first of all, we'll need to go over to here to recharge. Let's see. Yeah, it's uh, not gonna work. Now, the thrust required will go down as we lose charge because I don't know. I don't quite understand, but for some reason, the battery charge actually actually weighs stuff so let's get rid of the water darn it but we just need better engines and probably bigger batteries and we'll be able to do that nice all right let's go power that's so cool see this is quite far away which is why this thing if we gain a bit of altitude, has the flight mode. You gotta be careful though, because we are gonna lose some altitude here. And now, I can actually use the Y button and adjust my throttle to much less. Okay. So now we're flying 200 and I can reduce my thrust even more. Why is that not? Hmm. Actually, I can join you tonight. Come on, turn! Let's see. So if I if I hold this, yeah, there we go. But it's still turning instead of just just controlling yaw. I need a lot less power actually. There. Well, sort of. Yes, yeah, so you will. Uh, will actually be uh, needing a recharge there. So there's the there's the wind helping us. I'm gonna reduce the thrust more. So now we're at actually at the point of the game where flights will take a lot longer because things are actually far apart. Um, so it's not just gonna be hopping from one place to the other. Which is pretty cool. And we're going to be using this flight mode a lot more. Oh, plane auto leveling on. Left stick button. There we go. Because I don't like the auto leveling sometimes. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot nicer. Okay. Okay, that's, that's cool. That wasn't there before. So left shoulder. Motions mode. The should why is it why is it turning the ship like that? That shouldn't be the case. I don't know. Okay, we can start reducing throttle slowly because we're getting close. Or closer. Eighteen kilometers. Or kilometers really. Acceleration, pressure on chassis, H is flaps. So flaps. Ugh, ugh. I did not like that at that speed, I guess. Reduce the thrust more. Flight conditions are favorable. Wind speed is minimal. S ski background stable. Dangerous radiation levels will be encountered below three kilometers. You mean above three kilometers? 
reduce the thrust more and just uh, lose some speed. Weak pilot chatter. Actually, shut off engines completely for now. We're way too high. Ski back runs stable. Okay, so now we're losing quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of speed. I'm gonna start converting altitude into speed, and then we'll have to change to a normal. Uh, I mean, to a VTOL mode again. There's a, is that an actual runway there? Let's see. So there's the flaps. Now that should give me more lift, but of course also slow me down more. Okay. There. That's pretty okay. We will be way be on schedule for this uh, inspector guy but we want to recharge here I think you could do it in one go go to the place he wants you to go uh, wait which t which way do we want do they want me to uh, land uh, this way okay whoa what's going on with the game that's not the runway that's a landing pad oh if it's a little bigger than Scarab. Okay. Do they have anything here? Structural frames and empty G type batteries. Fine. I'll buy those. Cargo spaceway. Why not? Structural frames. 13 and a half tons. Okay, so let's go, I hope you heard me right, I need to go to Nile Star Research, could it be that you have something, I don't know, it was, oh, what, too quick, oh, I'm not in a scarab anymore, whew, gotta remember that, not in a scarab anymore, <laughs> now, get some altitude before you change to flight mode, because you will be losing a fair bit of uh, altitude, right at the beginning usually so let's go like this we've got enough speed now there 99 thrust that's fine What did he say? You guys are scrapping me every day? What? <laughs> I like the <laughs> bringing stuff from point A to point B for scraps. I think that's what he said. Wings are open. Battery, wings are open. Flying mode switch. Release, retract flaps. Cargo gate is closed. Auto toggle chassis switch. Chassis switch? Turn off horizontal leveling. That's pretty cool that there's all these systems. I I really enjoy emergency ejection. Okay. I really enjoy when games have uh, you know are a little more complicated. And if systems and stuff like that. So we're going about 185 meters per second. And we've about leveled out at 264 meters altitude. That's pretty good. That's so cool. Look at that planet up there. I know I've said it before, but I just want to say it again. This game is fun. It's sort of casual-ish. You do have to do a bit of, you know, fly, uh, good flying and maneuvers and such, but it's not a shooter or anything like that, and it's 
It's just fun. Alright, so we're coming over to... Oh, did you see there? We were losing speed... There. We're losing speed a little bit. I think it probably is the wind. Alright, so we're coming close. And kilo kilometers. Yeah, I don't like that glowing of the engines. I mean, pulsating. That was dependent on thrust before. It still is, but now it's just sort of whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't like that. It was much cooler before when w it was realistic. Or maybe what they're doing here is that these are actually sort of pulsed, pulsed thrusts. I don't know. I honestly don't know what what this is supposed to be. All right, so I'm gonna try to double tariffs imposed in food sales so I'm gonna try to lose the speed while keeping the altitude we're gonna have to change to VTOL sooner that's actually that was perfect that was pretty perfect actually just cannot be too cocky because this is not a scarab All of a sudden, you realize that some of these landing areas are not as big as you thought they are. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Oh, it's the place that I need. I appreciate it, Captain. Er, uh, Captain? Could you please let me out? No. Good afternoon. I'm interested in getting a taxi ride to Bori. I have no idea where Bori is. But let's see. Where do they want these batteries? Where is Bori? Oh, Bori is over there. Oh, that's actually good because they have Can't See Cockerel, which sells for quite a bit. I might actually want to go there. Um, may I go out? Yes, I've told you before. What? So fast? <laughs> Did we arrive? Guess I fell asleep. Well, no more time for napping for now. And thanks, buddy. You deserve 5,000 credits. That's nice, actually. It wasn't dependent on time, it appears. Uh, so let's go to Bori. Uh, Bori. Right. I'm not actually gonna... ...recharge here. Oh, double profit! Wait a second. That's something new! I guess it's for a limited amount of time. You can get a double profit there by selling whatever food or something. They say. Oh jeez! No 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 no! Not good. Not good. I way overcorrected that, and that was the result. So. See if I can do this without actually being in a big crash. Have you ever wondered if there were anyone here before us? It turns out that not only I am interested in it, I once saw an archaeological site somewhere deep in the mainland, and it seems they have found something. Okay. Yeah. Whew. Our flaps are 74%, engines at 84%, wings at 92%. And I believe that we will be able to uh, recharge here at this fishing trawler just fine. What is going on? Level out. It's very. It's very difficult to actually turn. It. It's weird. We're able to hold the left stick before, like... Uh, nope, that doesn't work. That does not work. Ski background increasing. Dangerous radiation levels will be encountered above 2 kilometers. Use caution when choosing a flight altitude. Uh, which way do I need to land? This way, perfect. 
Look at that trawler going at a crazy speed. That used to be... That used to go much slower. Oh, did you hear that? That was, uh... Uh, from the engine wash on the ocean. Warning, magnetic field. Oh, rough landing. It's a place I need it. Off you go. How much did he pay f pay us? Let's see. Oh, 3,000 credits. Fine, I, I like it. So buy a supplement. Trading is impossible. Trading is impossible. Oh, because we- oh, we still have those stupid G batteries. I'm gonna buy them here. So I'm gonna buy that. And let me see where the uh, bio sublimate needs to go. It's five tons though, so we cannot actually- we cannot actually do that, never mind. Yeah, you see that? It actually adds a few tons of weight if you uh, replenish. I suppose it's like it like runs on hydrogen or something. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, as always. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I do playing it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.